What's up, everybody? Chester ARP Church Devotional Podcast. Clint Davis, your host. Here we go. John chapter 11. Jesus raises Lazarus from the dead. Gives me grace for every trial. Feeds me with the living. All right, well, thanks for being with us today. We jump into John chapter 11, beginning in verse 38. Jesus raises Lazarus. Then Jesus, deeply moved again, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone lay against it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man, said to him, Lord, by this time there will be an odor, for he has been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believed you would see the glory of God? So they took away the stone, and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I said this on account of the people standing around, that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said these things, he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out! And the man who had died came out, his hands and his feet bound with linen strips and his face wrapped with a cloth. Jesus said to them, Unbind him and let him go. Outside of the resurrection of Jesus, I think this is the most dramatic moment in all of John's gospel, right? We're not there for the resurrection of Jesus. We catch it on the Sunday morning after he has been raised. And then we see Jesus and Martha, not Jesus and Martha, Jesus and Mary interacting in the garden outside the tomb in Jesus' resurrection. But in this moment, we see Jesus literally call forth Lazarus from the grave. He comes out. Now, I love the interaction between Jesus and Martha here. I've said this in our previous couple of week, couple of lessons as we've kind of read through this, previous couple of podcasts, as we've read through this, that I love Martha's honesty, her openness, her boldness with Jesus. She just lays it out there in Jesus' grace and interaction with her. But I love this interaction here because Jesus says, listen, um, where have you laid him? He's deeply moved. He gets to the tomb, uh, deeply moved again by the effects of the fall, effects of sin, that judgment came upon us. We're not made to die. Uh, We were made to live. And death is a curse for sin. And so that breaks Jesus' heart, the effects of of sin on creation itself, on his creatures, the ones he loves. And they they have to die as a result of their sin. And the rejection of him brings back all kind of uh, trouble to his spirit. He's also moved by compassion. And uh, so he wants to demonstrate here his power over the grave. Of course, this is looking forward to his resurrection, his own resurrection. He can raise Lazarus. He can be raised himself. But he says, take away the stone. And Martha, this is what I love. Martha says, well, Lord, there's going to be an odor. I mean, the guy's been dead for four days now, right? Now, they understand what you and I understand. Death has a certain stench to it. Um, there's no smell like death. Uh, we had a, if you've ever had this happen, we had a, a mouse die in, in the wall at a house, one of my houses one time. And, and, and I'm going to tell you, it, it was just awful. For a week in the middle of the summer, there's no smell like death. It's just that that smell is is it is horrific. And Martha says to Jesus, hey, listen, Lord, you're going to roll the stone away. Um, There's going to be an odor. Uh, The time to have visited Lazarus and seen him before was before he was put in the tomb. Uh, Those days are gone. Don't don't roll that stone away. We don't want to smell that. That that's going to be awful. And Jesus looks at her very directly, but with compassion in his eyes, I think. And he says, did I not tell you? that if you believed, you would see the glory of God? I love that question. And it's so applicable. Well, you and I in our lives, we, you know, we're not experiencing what Martha experienced. We're not getting ready to see what Martha got ready to see. Um, we're not getting ready to see someone raised from the dead, though we will one day um, when Christ should return. There's all kind of things in our lives where we are just naturally uh, pointing out limitations to God. And somebody says, you know, God can do it. And we, God says to us through his word, but in his spirit, I can do this. I'm going to do this. And, and, and we're, we're hesitant to follow along. We're hesitant to believe because we want to naturally point out the limitations and the negativities. Right? So, well, that can't happen. 
There's no way this can be done. And and God says, if you just listen to me and, and do what I said, you're going to see something amazing. you got to give me a chance. I mean, this is true not just with our relationship with God. This is true with situations in our lives. We, we can be, beat our heads against the wall and, and, and we're beyond our powers or beyond our abilities. If somebody comes along and says, hey, listen, just chill out. Uh, I'm gonna help you get through this. We're gonna we're gonna do this, this, and this with some kind of problem, whatever, and we'll get around it. And we don't want to hear anything about what they have to say, and so we're pointing out all the negativity. So let me give you a trite example of this. Uh, this week at our office, uh, we had an issue with Microsoft, and um, bought a new computer, trying to get logged into Microsoft Office products, etc. And I got locked out, and I was so frustrated. I mean, I was so frustrated. Called Microsoft several times, couldn't get anybody on the phone. And finally got somebody that wanted to transfer me. I got hung up on them several times. Didn't mean to, I don't, it wasn't intentional. It just got cut off the line, whether it was on my end or their end. But I was so frustrated. And I began to say, there's no way. So I finally got somebody on the line. And I said to the, you know, the lady said, all right, I'm going to put a ticket together for you, uh, a trouble ticket. We'll get this taken care of. And uh, she sends me an email. And the email says, uh, expect this to be resolved within eight days. Level C priority expect to be resolved within eight days. Now, this is Office 365 word processing, Excel sheets, etc. things that we need to do our job, publisher, things we need to do our job, and we did not have access, right, to it. And it's eight days, and so I'm so mad. I'm so mad. And I talked to one of our employees who does IT, and he's like, look, it's going to be okay. Uh, they'll get it taken care of. They'll move in the right direction. It won't be that long. Don't worry about it. And I was like, no, it won't. Right. And then within 24 hours, we're back in. They got it taken care of. Call me, confirmed it, got it reset. Boom. We're back in within 24 hours. But it's like somebody came along and said, Hey, listen, just chill out. Don't get it under control. I told the woman, I told her, she's like, we'll get it taken care of. But I was so frustrated, and I was pointing out the negatives. That's what happens to us. That's what Martha's doing. And Martha's coming to Jesus, the Lord of all creation, who, who's already said, your brother's going to rise again. And she says, and I know he will in the resurrection of the last day. And she says, no, he's going to rise again. And, and so she now says, don't move the stone, Jesus. Don't move it. Don't move it. it it'll be a smell. It'll be a stench. And Jesus says, did I not tell you that if you believed, you would see the glory of God? That's where faith comes in. That's what we've got to learn from this lesson. You and I have to learn to believe. I don't think there's anybody listening to this who doesn't believe that Jesus has the power to raise the dead. Maybe there is, and if so, then that's your lesson. But for most of us, if not all of us, do we believe that he will do what he said he's going to do? And if so then we'll get to see the glory of God. We miss out on the glory of God so much in our lives because we don't believe. I know that from experience. And so this message is very important to us. This challenge is believe in the Lord, let him do his work, and you will see the glory of God. I hope you guys get to see the glory of God because you believe and you give him opportunity to work in your lives. You guys take care. God bless you. See you next time. You carry me close to your heart and show